I'm Dave Curran, and today on Wilderness Living Work, I'm going to show you how to keep the top of your wood stove's chimney pipe clear so your fires will burn hot all winter long. Now, running a wood stove in winter, especially during the winter, causes creosote to build up in the stove pipes, especially if you follow the advice of an old friend of ours, a late friend, who said that you should always put some green wood in with the dry wood so that your fire will burn all night and you don't have to tend it. Well, if you do that, you'll definitely get creosote in the pipe. Now, creosote is like molasses in its natural state, and it's flammable. They do sell special logs that you can stick in that's going to make the creosote hard, but you don't have to do that. Uh, a neighbor pointed out many years ago that all you have to do is take an aluminum can or any kind of aluminum and stick it in the fire when it's really hot, and the aluminum oxide will actually cause the creosote to turn into a hard creosote, and then it's very easy to brush it off. Now, if you use the Coke can method, what will happen is your creosote will turn to a powder, but the thing is it will get caught in the top part of your stovepipe. And if you let it build up for a while, I've let it build up here so you can actually see it. The dry creosote has built up to the point where the openings are, are almost completely covered. They are blocked by the hardened creosote. If the creosote builds up too much and you open your stove, the smoke will come out the stove instead of going up the chimney. You don't want that. Now, I've let my creosote build up right here. And if you look at these two, the stovepipe, you can see that attached to the stovepipe, I have two very thin wires. One is short with a loop. One is long with a loop. I almost never use the long one. But when I set this up, I was thinking I might want to stick a loop down the chimney to brush off the inside. But apparently, I only need to clean off the uh, upper part, and that seems to be where most of the creosote gets stuck. So, taking the wire loop, the short one, all I do is stick it in there. There are two, there's an upper opening section, four openings on top, four openings on the bottom, and run the wire loop through all of them. And as you see, as I do this, as I run the wire loop through, the creosote is falling out, and uh, once that's all done, then your stovepipe will be wide open again and you can go back to being a happy cabin liver and have a, a nice warm cabin. This is Wilderness Living Work signing off and I'm Dave Curran. Bye.